Assalamu alaikum students. So today we'll be using one routing protocol that is RIP routing protocol. Okay, routing information protocol. So for that actually what we do is we'll design a network where we will be configuring our um, routers. Okay, so it's just a bit uh, interesting network we are going to design. So what do I do? I just go into my devices, okay, and I will just select my router, okay. Router I will select with which has the serial port as well as Ethernet port. So this uh, router PT is actually has uh, Ethernet port as well as the uh, serial ports. So what I do is I just simply go here to the control. I select the router PT in the control and I just I have uh, four routers so I will be configuring all four routers so router number was one here router number two router number three router number four okay so I have four different FPAC subnets okay so I'll be working on them so I need some switches for that so I'll just go and select a generic switch and just in front of those routers I'll just go and paste my switches okay Good. so I have four switches for four different networks and four routers okay and then I'll go just take some servers okay as we have already configured some servers so I'll just keep some servers with me I'll go and select servers Okay, I'll just keep the servers exactly here. Okay, just to make my network look good. The topology should look good. Huh? So I'm just making this topology look good. Okay, and then I'll go and select my PCs. Okay, so every network I'm just going to keep two PCs. Okay. So here are my PCs. So this is how my network actually looks like. It's very interesting network. Okay, you have to design. So now what I need to do, I have to connect. So we know the port. So I just go for the auto port. Okay, just just to fast things up. So I just press control and take the auto port selection selection uh, means connection selection. Okay, so I just connect my this pc to this uh, all network so i just keep on going connecting my all network it's very basic network so i just go and just connect it's easy okay you can see it's just plug and play so but so i just connect my this switches to my router okay and then router to router okay so actually I, ha I have connected my all these but it's still I need to configure them so simply I will just to make my topology look a bit better so I hope everything is fine with respect to this topology okay so good head truck looks fine okay so first of all i'll just go configure my dhcp server so that everyone should take their ip addresses from so i simple i'll just give my these networks name okay so this is my network number one okay i'll call it network one i need the network one and ip addresses i will be using one one nine two one six eight dot one dot zero this is the ip net address of this network okay so i'll just go and copy this and i just take another network and i call my this network as network two okay paste it and say it is network two and this is zero two okay and then just I'll copy and to paste this one and then decide call my network three okay so this is my network 3 
network 3 okay and IP address is with respect to the network and this is my network 4 and my IP addresses are with respect to network 4 okay okay done okay so now I understand what network is having which IP addresses so it's very easy for me so this is my network 2 this is my network 3 okay and this is my network 4 good so actually you can see here is also these uh, routers are connected to each other this is our core network so I'll go and give these networks in uh, network ID as well okay so actually this is let's make it like 10.0.0.0 okay this is my this network okay and for this uh, this network this router to this router I will have 20.0.0.0 okay and for my these routers network I'll call them 30.0.0.0 okay it's basic very basic okay so this is my fourth network here as a 40 dot 40 0 dot 0 dot 0 okay so now what I need to know is actually I need to know these port ports of my uh, routers okay this is this these ports are very important so I'll just go and uh, keep my mouse on this port you can see these numbers are appearing here when you keep your mouse there you can understand the numbers are appearing so while you are configuring these numbers may not appear so what you do is just remember these numbers and just select this and go and write this number is actually 2-0 okay and this is also 2-0 so you will go here and write this serial number is connected with 2-0 2-0 so I'll just keep them for my information further when I'm going to configure them so I know this these two cables actually with this interface of the router this interface is connected to serial port that is 2-0 and to this router also the 2-0 when I keep my mouse here it will tell me the serial port it is connected to this is 3-0 uh, oblique 0 and here 2 oblique 0 okay so I'll go and write the same thing here and this is 3 oblique 0 okay and this is actually to public zero okay so I will just keep them here in order for me to understand further this is fine so I'll just go and keep my mouse here this is 3 and 3 both are 3 3 so I'll just keep go here and write it here 3 in public zero and same here 3 public zero okay and my this, this network so the last network I'll go and just keep my mouse here and it will tell me 3 and 2 so this interface is actually connected to serial 3 serial 3 and this network is actually connected to the serial 2 okay so now I just place them so I can now understand this port is actually this network is connected to the port number two zero. It's sorry, it means uh, serial port two, and this is two. This is three, and this is router's port is two. Okay, so I know all the ports. I just go into my uh, server. So I call this server as my HTTP server. You have already configured, so it's very easy. Huh? H sorry DHCP server. DHCP server so you have already configured it I will just write the server as well so DHCP server okay and I go into this network and I just go into the IP address of this server and I give it an IP address that is 192.168.1.2 and then the gateway is actually nearly same okay and this gateway will be one okay I don't need to, to go for the subnet okay this is the IP address I have given it so I'll go into the services I go into the HTTP sorry DHCP services 
and I just switch on and here I make network pool I call it network one okay and uh, gateway is actually 192.168.1.1 okay there is no DNS and this is network one and the starting IP address is will be from 10 so I go I just add this so my network one is added and this network one is added into this router so I go and add another network I'll call it network 2 okay okay the gateway will be the same from here no need to change the gateway you can configure from the gateway no problem okay it is not going to affect that much so keep it 2 here go 2 here and add into this network so you have network 1 and network 2 go and configure network 3 and change it to 3 and change it to 3 and add it so you have network 1 2 3 now you have network 4 okay just go here make it 4 and just here go and make it 4 and add this so you have all four networks so your server is fine okay now it looks good okay now what do we need to do actually we will be if i go here into my this personal net this network okay i don't need to worry about that i go into my pcs and i say configure the server so it is actually configuring i have to do one thing which is actually you see i have given the starting ip address uh, from 10 but it is giving one ip address which is i'm going to give to this router interface ip address so i'll go into my this server okay by default actually there is an ip address giving this it base pool change this pool to zero because it should not take it from this so save it okay now i will go here i'll check the ip address so i just go and say take ip address so it's taking from 10 okay so now it's taking the ip addresses what i have given it so now my gateway is uh, 92 192-168.1.1 is fine okay so this network is actually fine i go here and i give it and it should be 11 okay it's 11 huh? fine so uh, till here we are very much fine now the crux of the story comes here okay so actually this this port is fast ethernet zero if you keep it here you can fast ethernet zero so you go into this uh, router and you go into the fast ethernet zero okay and then you give here ip address that is gateway ip address 192.168.1.1 okay and you put it on fine okay and uh, this actually connected to this 20 network this port so i will go into my router okay and i which is which port is this two so i go in the serial port two okay and here i will give ip address 20 dash zero dash dot zero dot one okay and tap and switch it up so i just configure this port okay and I this port is actually connected three, so I go into the three, and here it is connected that this this network ten networks. So I'll say ten dot zero dot zero dot one, and tab it and switch it on. So my this config these three interface of this router has been configured. Okay. So you can sometimes change the timing as well. Okay okay now you can come here in this router so i have three again ports here which is one port is connected fast ethernet uh, zero okay fast ethernet zero if i keep my mouse here again it will show me fast ethernet zero so i'll go into the fast ethernet zero and this is my network two so i'll just uh, say ip address two dash dash dot one and then switch it on so my this uh, network interface is configured so this interface needs to be configured too so i go in serial port okay what i will i will get 20.0.0.2 why because this interface i have given one so this interface i'm going to give two okay and just switch it on okay now you can see this is actually these two interfaces are active now so both interfaces are active okay so now the third interface actually if you see it here which is actually the serial port 3 so you go into the serial port 3 
and what network is it 30 okay so you'll go here you'll get 30.0.0.1 okay so this interface will be one you <coughs> tab it and then you on it so these two routers we have configured all three so i'll go for my this router okay uh, network three i'll go there are three uh, means interfaces i just go into this router first i'll configure the fast ethernet zero okay so i just go into that i just configure my fast ethernet zero and which is actually connected to my network three so i will simply write ip address of three gateway three dot one that will be the gateway of three okay which is actually connected to this network so this interface has been configured now i have to configure this uh, two okay so i'll go into the serial port two and which is actually connected to this network the 10.10 .10. so 10.0.0.2 because one i have given to this interface so two is this and then i say just tab and switch it on so you can see and this is also green so it's fine now i'll go for this three interface okay this is serial port three so i will go into the serial port three and then i'll give ip address with respect to the this network that is 40.0.0.1 okay and then switch it on this is fine all these three uh, interfaces of this router configured so i'll go into my fourth router okay and i do the same thing with my fourth router i just check this one is fast ethernet zero okay fine so i go into my this one and go into the fast ethernet zero which is actually connected to my network four so i'll go and say network four should be connected 4.1 okay so switch it on 4.1 is active so now these two interfaces need to be co means configured so this interface is actually three i'll go into the three and say this is actually which network this is 40 network okay so i'll give 40.0.0.2 okay when i have given to this interface so i'll give this interface two and then i'll say configure it so you can see this network is fine so now this last uh, connective this we have already configured so i have to configure two okay and then i go into the two and i say ip address that is with respect to the 30 so i'll say 30.0.0.2 because 30.0.0.1 was given here so i just tab it and on it so minus all networks uh, core network configuration is a bit done okay so uh, what i do is that because uh, everyone has to take the ip address from uh, um, dhcp server so do remember this interface the gateway interface uh, needs one command okay what command is that you go into your router okay and which interface this interface okay you will select this interface the interface which is actually connected to your network with, um, which is that fast return is zero okay you can just select this and then you can go into the command line interface and simple you write one command that is ip helper dash address 192.168.1.2 so who's the helper server okay enter it so actually i've written all in caps so i will write it again so I say IP helper dot dash address 192.168.1.2 okay now it is fine so what I do is is I'll just go and copy this okay so this interface is fine so I'll do with all four interfaces all four routers okay so I'll go into this router okay and I go into the fast ethernet and i go into the command line interface and simply i paste the command and i say enter it is done i go into this one so i just uh, configure this router okay and then i go into the command line interface and here i paste the information and then i come command and then and then enter it is done so that's last one last router so i go into the last router in the fast ethernet zero and the command line interface and here i paste the command and enter it it's done okay <clears throat> so hopefully whatever we wanted to do done but there is one more protocol protocol actually we will be using that is called rip 
ओके आर आई पी राउटिंग इंटरमिशन प्रोटोकॉल यू आई वी हैव लर्न इन अवर थियोरी क्लास ओके अबाउट दिस अबाउट दिस राउटर प्रोटोकॉल राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल डज ओके सो आई विल गो आई विल कॉन्फिगर ऑल द इंटरफेसेस ऑफ दिस राउटर विद आर आई पी ओके सो एक्चुअली दिस राउटर हैज थ्री इंटरफेसेस वन इज कनेक्टेड टू दिस नेटवर्क second is connected to this network and third is connected to this network so i will go and give this rip information to my routing protocol so i go into my routing protocol okay and i go into the configuration and here i will be just uh, putting the rip and i go to this uh, ip address and i enter enter the ip address sorry i will enter 192.168.1.0 this network okay and i say add this network into my rip then i add this network okay this is 10.0.0.0 add it and then this interface this okay so i'll go here i'll say 10 20.0.0.0 add it so my this router is done okay so i do now router number 2 okay so i'll go here which is actually connected to two, three these interfaces i gave routing information to my this uh, router and i tell him that first you get connected to this network which is two network 2 192.168.2.0 okay this is network this network is okay so i add it and then actually another interface is connected to 20 okay so i'll say 20.0.0.0 okay now connect to this inter inter i mean uh, interface and then the third interface is actually connected to 30 router so uh, uh, 30 network 30 so 0.0.0.0 uh, okay this one so i add it here so these two routers uh, have been configured okay i'll go into this router okay and i go into mm, RIP and I add this network first. That is network three, so one nine two dot one six eight dot three dot zero. Okay, add it, and then I will add this network with ten. That is ten dot zero dot zero dot zero. Okay, this network because this router has this inter means network uh, interface. So I add it here, and then this network interface that is forty. Okay, so forty dot zero dot zero dot zero. Add it. Okay, so the my uh, this three are done. So I'll go into my four router. Okay, fourth router. I'll go into here and I say RIP. Actually, this and uh, network is X four. So one nine two dot one six eight dot four dot zero. Add this network, and which network we have? This forty uh, and thirty. So I'll just go and say thirty dot zero dot zero dot zero. Add it. And forty, okay. Forty dot zero dot zero dot zero. Add it. Okay. So everything is done. Okay. If I just uh, uh, because these the, these uh, means PCs have already taken IP address. So I'll go into this one of my PCs from any network, and they don't have any IP address. And I say, come on now, give me an IP address from the DHCP server. Okay. so it takes ip address okay which is not correct let's let's do it again now it is fine okay so it's network 3 fine starting ip address is 10 gateway is 3 is fine okay successful request met i'll go into this computer and i'll say request the ip address which is fine it is 11 now this was 10 so i'll go into this my PC and I say configure it with DHCP. Okay, so very good. So it's taking four with four. I mean, get with four. Okay, network four. Fine. This should be eleven. Okay, so I'll go here and I say give me the IP address from this server. It gives me eleven. Good. So with my network two, I'll go into my network two and I say give me the IP address from the server. So it's it's giving me IP address for my network from this server. Okay. so 
I'll go into this one and I just say take IP address on this. It's fine. Very good. Okay. So this network is really working as, as far as the DHCP uh, protocol is concerned. So let's make net, net to another server. There is our uh, web server. Okay. Web server, which is actually very easy. You have already done. So we see how we are going to check it. We go into the server and then we give it an IP address to this server that is okay that is 192.168.2.1 because this belongs to network 2 and not 1 but 2 2.2 okay and the gateway will be I'll just copy it okay and the gateway will be 1 okay gateway is the one okay so done ip address is fine and i will go into the services and i and because dhc i mean http server so i go into my this edit uh, i will e edit the index and it says welcome to cisco so i'll say welcome to network uh, system class okay save it yes save it okay so now my this is fine so i first i'll try to configure a uh, check it from my this network so i'll just go and say it give me 192.168.2.2 okay go it and it says well uh, welcome to network class so this <clears throat> as far as near network is concerned is fine so let's try it from another network okay and here we go and then we say 192.168.2.2 so it's good so it's taking from there as well so we can take it from this network okay so 192.168.2.2 it, uh, it's every network is actually accessing this server easily okay so we can access our web server from all the network now 2.2 it's fine okay it's good okay so we go here and we call this network actually our uh, FTP okay FTP server okay FTP server okay so FTP server, I'll go first give the IP address to this server and okay, that is my IP address of this server belongs to network 3. So I'll just paste it here and I say this is 3.2, okay, 3.2 and gateway is actually network 3.1, okay, done, IP address has been done. So I go into the services, what services is going as? HTTP okay sorry FTP so in FTP I'll make sure it is on and here I will give one username the one who can access the file okay so let's make it uh, Sadiq okay I'm just making it not capped okay username is Sadiq and the password is 123 okay and here I will give the privileges to Sadiq what privileges we would have he can read the file he can delete the file he can rename the file and he can list the file okay he can write as well so whatever the privileges you want to give aid to this user this user can access these these files okay so this user has been added so what I do is that I'll just go into near because if I take it from other network it will take a lot of time okay I just uh, you can do it at home okay you can take it from this network so uh, for the sake of uh, this demonstration i will not take it from other network so i'll take it from the same network as far as you want to see the network can be accessed okay because i can just use the pdu from here and to the here actually you see first time it is failed so don't worry about second time you can just take this one to this server it is successful <clears throat> you can access it just to save the time actually i will take a file from the same network okay because it, it take time so i'll go into my network okay and uh, into my this uh, p 
PC okay and I go into the command line okay and I just want to uh, use the FTP command here what we have done before so that is FTP IP address of this network well, server 192.168.3.2 okay this is the IP address of this server okay enter and it asks me my authenticity so I give uh, Sadiq okay asks me the password that is 123 <clears throat> now I am in FTP mode okay so I have the right there I can see the directory of this uh, server so it will give me all files of this server so I will try to take the first file that is really very small file okay I just uh, copy it okay and I'm in FTP server so I should say FTP server gate okay I have to go to this uh, file okay is control C okay so I uh, control C actually is command here so I have to copy myself again I have to go to FTP so I say FTP that 192.168.2.3 uh, okay connecting that computer Okay. actually I use the control C command so I'll do again I'll go into the command prompt okay let let me try it from another computer okay so I'll go here and I just uh, use the command prompt and I'll say FTP okay 192.168.2.3 or uh, that 3.2 okay that dot three dot two okay so this server is at three dot two okay so now it's ask me sade okay and password one two three okay show me the directory directory has given me this one so I will remember this file that is a s a 80 uh, means 842 says so I say gate I'll use a gate command gate command ASA 842 okay then I have dash that is after dash K K8 okay dot bin dot bin file okay as I enter so it's transferring the file it will take a little time believe me if I take it from other computer it will take so much time so I will just try to take it from the same network okay hopefully it's not going to take that much time meanwhile it's configuring because it's busy so I just go into my this router and I tell this router this server and I say my this server is actually my web server okay web server or not web server we have we have email server okay and mail server okay I just check it it says the file has been transferred okay this much byte so I just uh, quit from here and I'm in my PC again so I will say show me the directory of my PC remember this file okay this file has been transferred so this is done successfully so I'll go into my this uh, server web server or email server I want to configure this my email server so first I give IP address to this this is uh, 192.168.4.2 okay so every server IP address is 2 with respect to their network okay and uh, 192.168.168.4.1 okay so this is fine uh, IP address has been given to this uh, server and what services it gives me it's going to give me a services of the email so I create an uh, two account in order to send and receive an email so I may send make account that is called uh, uh, Sadiq okay and so here I will have to set a domain okay uh, domain is gmail.com gmail dot com okay and I'll set this domain later on 
in the password again i'll keep very basic password 123 for the sake of understanding okay set this and edit and then i have uh, ahmad ahmad okay 123 so i will edit okay so these two users can send uh, login into from anywhere and can that they, they can send email to each other okay so this is actually i've done I, I you can use as many as user you want to this is a user account you want to create in the server so this is done this is on you have given the uh, means uh, um, domain name that is gmail.com done so i will not go into other network let me just do it from the first this network okay I'll go into this computer and I go into the email of this computer and here I'll create an account that is called Sadiq okay email address is uh, Sadiq at the rate gmail.com and uh, uh, incoming uh, server okay incoming server is actually the same so I'll give IP address 192.168.1 four dot two okay so it's the same server control c and control v okay and the uh, user authenticity how can i can i uh, login name sadik and password one two three okay so set it save it okay and uh, I go into this computer, okay, into this computer, and I this number I'll go into this one. I'll make Ahmed, A H M E D, okay, A H M E D at the rate gmail, gmail dot com, okay. I pass means it's very much same. Incoming and outgoing email. So Ahmed one two three is the password and save it. Now, if I want to compose an email and I said go to, to Sadiq at the rate gmail.com, subject is hi and how are you? Okay, send it. So it is successfully sent. I'll go into this PC and I just go into the email. I said, Have I received any email? So, yes, you have received an email from Sadiq. So I can reply it. Okay, I select and then reply it. Okay, I say I I am fine. Okay, and I send it. It is sent. Okay, I go into this PC and I just check whether I have I received something. Yes, I received something on Sadiq. He says hi, I am fine. Okay, so you can do it from all networks. Okay, so I can just uh, uh, go into this one. I don't want to take much time the videos will video will be longer okay so this is how we can configure our network hope there is no difficulty in this network we configured the routing protocol here we configured this uh, all routers here uh, hopefully uh, this is going to be easy it's not that difficult uh, thank you very much if you have any comments you can let me know okay assalamualaikum